Drugs stay in the body for only a short time. True or false? Once again, that is false. Most drugs are what are called fat-soluble substances. In other words, they mix with fat. If you took, let's say, frozen orange juice and mixed it with water, you stirred it enough, it would go into a mixture. That's because that orange juice is a water-soluble substance. Most drugs, let's take THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, and marijuana. THC is a very, very, very fat-soluble substance, as is LSD, heroin, many, many other drugs. So if you tried to dump that substance in water, you could stir until your hand fell off and it will never, ever mix. It always separates or it floats to the surface of the water. So this is what happens when a person ingests the drug. No matter how it's taken, if it's smoked, if it's injected, if it's swallowed in a pill form, it doesn't matter. It always ends up in the person's bloodstream. So watch what happens. There's the person's bloodstream. Here's the fat tissue, which is butted right up against the person's bloodstream. And here comes the drug. As the drug moves through the person's bloodstream, because the fat tissue is so close, that fat tends to draw that drug into it almost like a magnet. Little tiny drug residues, little bits and pieces of that drug just start lodging or sticking more and more and more in the fatty tissue of the body. Until after a while, honestly, this guy, he's kind of like a walking drugstore. He's got all these drugs that are stuck inside his body. Well, first of all, who cares? Big deal. Why is that even important? Well, for one thing, as I mentioned earlier, the nutrients are burnt up. When this is circulating in the person's body, he has almost a continual destruction of nutrients in his body. So he has to eat better. He has to try to take vitamins, anything to keep his health up. But even more important than that, especially to us at Narconon, is this. How long does this stuff actually stay inside a person's body? Very quick story, if I may. I was addicted to drugs myself, personally, for about 16 years. I started smoking marijuana, drinking alcohol, taking pills, speed, amphetamines in college, began to take LSD, many other drugs, ended up very heavily addicted to cocaine and alcohol. In 1977, I entered the Narconon program, and at that point in time, for us, it was just a healthy regimen, lots of vitamins, minerals, exercise, stuff like that, and then life skills so we could reorient to our new lives drug-free. At that time, they did not have a program, which we currently have called the Sauna Sweatout Program. I did what was called the LSD Sweatout Program where you had to actually go out and you had to run four to six miles a day. Eat fresh vegetables, vitamins. The whole idea was to little by little purge these drugs from your system. Well, I did that program every single day, four to six miles a day, running, drinking lots of fresh water, lots of vitamins, lots of vegetables, on and on and on. 14 months later, I felt great. About six months later, the executive director called me into her office and she said, have a seat. I said, sure. What's the deal, Patty? She said, well, Bob, we have a new program. I said, what is it? She kind of laughed when she said this. She said, well, it's actually designed to flush all the old drugs out of your body. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I already did that. She said, yeah, yeah, I know. But this is sort of like the new and improved. Besides, you're a counselor now, so we think you should do it. I said, oh, what the hell, I'll do it. At any rate, I started that program. On the third day, I was sitting in the sauna reading my newspaper. All of a sudden, I started feeling kind of weird. I looked over at my partner, and my partner <laughs> melted. The next thing I know, there's purple frogs, pink mushrooms, stuff. I'm seeing stuff that's not there everywhere. I walk out of the sauna. I sit down. I get a glass of spring water. The counselor comes over, so you know, what's happened? And I told him I was in the middle of an LSD trip. This trip lasted 45 minutes. That particular thing happened to me 31 days on the program. That happened seven times. Cocaine, marijuana, many, many, many other drugs flushed out of my body as I 
I'd done this. I had been drug free for three and a half years and the stuff was pouring out of my body. Anyway, how long it does stay depends on the person, depends on their body, but it stays much, much, much longer than people think. So we've given you a lot of uh, negative information on drugs here, but what can you do about it? Well, I know the Narconon program definitely saved my life. Not only saved my life, but it created a whole new life where I can go out, I can have fun, I can live life to the fullest. And basically, I'd like other people to have that also. So if you know someone who has a drug problem, family member, friend, anyone at all, contact us, www.narconon.org. That's www.narconon.org.